Before we immerse ourselves in the training aspect with the software, I just wanted to do a quick rundown of some of the hardware that we're going to be using today. First, we're going to have the touch screen, and uh, we'll talk about all the connections in just a second. But this is a 19-inch touch screen. We don't have the integrated card reader. This model doesn't allow for that, but we do have the card reader sitting there. Uh, also, we're going to have our standard cash drawer. It's a 16 by 16, uh, fully uh, industrial steel gauged um, cash drawer that's going to be automated. It actually connects to the receipt printer. Now, the, the cable that's going to be coming from the cash drawer looks kind of like a Cat5 Ethernet cable, and it's going to plug into the bottom, and keys are going to come taped to the bottom as well. And then what's going to happen is this connection here is going to be an RJ11 connection from the, you know, this whole multi-pro cable from the cash drawer to the receipt printer is going to be an RJ11. It looks kind of like a phone cable. It's going to go in the back. Now, the, the, the receipt printer is a thermal receipt printer, so you want to be careful that when you print a receipt, you don't let it get near a lot of heat because the, the receipt will turn black. And this is a parallel connection. So you can see over here, and we'll start diving in, into some connections. This, this is a parallel connection here. The touch screen actually has a VGA and USB connection as well. So you see the blue cable here is VGA, and then we have the USB section over here. Other USB connections are going to be your um, card readers and your mouse and keyboard. Now, again, the, the software is going to give you the ability to access a QWERTY keyboard within the touch screen so that you can use that and not have to always have a keyboard around. But for this exercise, we're going to have it. So anyway, if you have any questions, we definitely have plenty of answers on our website. You just go to posnation.com support, and you can see everything there. So let's dive into the software. Now we're going to start with the software portion of the training. Um, one of the great things about Aldelo for restaurants is the fact that it hits a variety of, of restaurant slash food service verticals. Um, you can have dine-in, table service, and you can have takeout, delivery, and drive-through all together, or you can edit it down to only have one. So it's a, a very complex and but user-friendly software, and you're going to see that as we go through it. So let's dive in, and I'll show you quickly uh, a lot of the benefits that it has. So first you're going to see this is the home screen here. You can see that you can put your logo on this right-hand side right here, and this is just a, a default picture that's going to come with the software. Um, these are all hard-coded buttons. Uh, each of the other pictures in the rest of the software are editable. These icons are actually not. They are hard-coded, and the blue uh, slash purple color is, is what we're going to have to go with. But you can see that there is everything here. There's dine-in, takeout, drive-through, and delivery here, and you can actually reduce that. So let's actually do that real quick and I'll show you in just a few seconds that that can be done. So this is that home screen and uh, we can actually go to the go on to the back office real quick and I can show you. Now these are global settings right here. Um, you can see that there are the store settings, station settings, and then here's where, where your all setups are going to be, well, all of your setups are going to be. Store settings are more global settings that are going to be for your entire business. So you can see here that there's specific business information that you have on your general tab. And all you do is you switch through each different tab. Like here's your taxation. You can switch through all of these and you can see all of these different settings that you have to choose from. So let's actually try this real quick. We're going to, we're going to make this edit and we're going to go back in just a second and show you that we can actually reduce this right here. So what you're going to do is you, usually I do save and done, but done will save it, uh, all of your changes. You just want to make sure that you uh, don't move on to another screen uh, before you save your changes. Station settings, those are going to be per terminal. Uh, and you can see here that um, there's all these tabs right at the top. There's a secondary language portion right here that we can see that you can actually have Spanish and Chinese as a native portion of the software. You can use the Windows Language Pack to do other languages, though. And that's a really great aspect to the software. Um, this is a station-specific picture that you can, you can actually change. Uh, and, you know, that other picture that we showed, you can definitely have that there as well as the default picture. Um, so. You know, we can, there's multiple screens right here. You can use the quick service screen, and, set, and et cetera. There's a, a retail screen as well, and we'll show you all those different things. But what I wanted to show you is just a second ago, I took off dine-in as an aspect of our business. So now we just have takeout, drive through and delivery. So uh, you can see that we can edit all of those down. We can take it down just to take out. We can take it down to just drive through, but it's all very manageable. So you saw the back office, and now let's show you another cool feature, that this is actually the back office on the front of house portion of each client each, or, or even the server. Now, 
what's going to be great is that there's a recurring database that is planted on the server that e each of the clients are accessing that database in order to uh, move information to and fro. So you can actually, with all the security settings within the software, you can actually access uh, any portion of it if, if, you are, if you have the security uh, permissions to do so. So you can make edits to your entire business from the front of house. And this is a pretty great little feature that you can actually check all of these different things out, receive payments. Here's your revenue center, and you can actually close your batches at the end of the night using Aldelo EDC. And there's frequent diner, in-house accounts you can edit. Um, inventory activities, if you want to do a quick PO or if you want to do a, a, even a depletion, depletion report right here to see what's been uh, reduced in, in the last hour, that's a great tool as well. And then there's all the other different reports that we can pull. So it's a pretty great feature that's right, right then and there uh, on board on each different station. So as you can see that we can edit this down to make it as simple or as complex as possible. And now we're going to dive into some specifics.